Hello patrons. I am so glad that you're here and so glad that I'm here and I hope that you enjoy this video. So I'm going to be sharing with you a video on how to gesso a magazine in case you would like to use a magazine for your being me journal. I know that at least one of you had talked about um, using the Bella Grace magazine and so I wanted to show you my Bella Grace magazine what it looks like with gesso on it how I gesso meaning how many like what the, the layer looks like how thin I put it on and then I'm actually going to create a page um, with some background um, just a background with some sprays and um, some paint just to kind of show you how it will look really nice even if you think you haven't gessoed it enough so this is my Bella Grace magazine um, it doesn't look like a Bella Grace magazine anymore um, I've already done the cover and the back of it and the reason I use Bella Grace magazines a lot is because I really love how thick the pages are these are awesome pages, ladies. Um, and when you put gesso on them, they become even thicker. And of course I love it because the binding, you know, is already, it's a magazine. So it's just perfect. I don't buy Bella Grace a lot because they are really expensive. Um, so maybe about twice a year I buy one and then I'll look through it. I'll cull a bunch of the images because I love to use them in my journals. And then I'll just use it as a journal. This is my prayer journal. Um, it's an ongoing journal. It is almost full. As you can tell, it's well read and well loved. I've got some, some pieces here I need to re-glue down. But these pages have all been gessoed. And um, I know one of the concerns was that um, that you just didn't feel like the gesso was covering enough. But I will tell you, um, like if you can see on this page, I do have some of the, the under page peeking through, but I'm okay with that. I think it just adds to the depth of my page. So I wanna show you here um, what I, Okay, also the other thing I wanted to show you was sometimes pages rip. And this particular page did not rip because of the gesso necessarily. It did rip because um, the gesso, I was, I'm normally just pretty quick putting it on and it had stuck to this back page. So when I pulled it apart, it had ripped. But again, I'm okay with that. This is a prayer journal and so for me, um, it just reminds me of, um, how tattered and torn sometimes I go to my creator and so I don't mind having that um, in this particular journal anyway so I'm going to show you how I would just so so I'm just going to go to these next I want to go to a page that has like a lot like a picture okay this is perfect so this has a picture three pictures on it and um, some print and I want to show you how I would just so that all right and what it would look like. Let me show you what I use. First of all, I highly recommend that you do not use a brush or even one of those foamy, um, the, the foam brushes. Don't use a brush. I'm going to tell you that you need to use one of these guys. So this is an old Starbucks card that I have and this was just an old room key that I had. I collect these things wherever I go. I always ask my friends, hey, if you don't, you know, please keep these. I'd love to have them. Whenever I get um, gift certificates or anything like that, I always keep them after I've used them. And so that is what I use to put my gesso on. And so that also may be um, maybe why you feel like you're having a hard time with that gesso. Um, I am using a pretty cheap brand right now. It's Artist Loft. You can find it at Michael's. Let's see if you can see that in my camera. Um, there is much better gesso out there, ladies. I highly recommend Liquitex or, um, yeah, Liquitex is the one that I had. I was trying to think of the one that I had. I bought it, I really splurged. It's expensive. I bought a huge gallon of it at Michael's, but I used like a 40% off coupon. And so it was well worth it. And I love, love, love the texture of that gesso. But for me, this works to be honest. And I'll just show you, okay? I'm just gonna show you how you can make this cheap stuff work, all right? So my gesso has actually, um, some of it's kind of gotten hard. I've had this for a while. I, I bought the big one because it was just cheaper to do that. But um, okay, so 
number one, I put quite a bit on my card. So I'm still seeing if you can see everything. There we go. Sorry, ladies, I'm getting new to where my camera is positioned. And so I'm literally having to um, watch as I'm filming this because I'm not quite sure where it's where the, the camera is seeing me. So I put a lot of gesso on there and this is all I do. I'm gonna take it with that card and I'm just gonna start putting it on my page. And you can just do this super quick. Okay, um, I'm gonna put some there. The fun thing about gesso, if you leave it thick, like if you leave it super thick on, you can actually take um, like a toothpick or a kebab skewer is what I use, and then you can write things in the gesso. You can make um, like different, um, like a circle or a triangle or lines. And then when you um, paint your page, that it's like an embossed and I just love that. All right, so that is the gesso. I always try to go the same way with it. Um, a lot of times I'll do this too because I cut quite a bit on there. Okay, so there we go. So you might think, well, that's not really covered that well, Leslie, but it really is, trust me. Um, I'm gonna let that dry a little bit and then I'm gonna show you how my paint is gonna cover that. So that's the gesso, the cheap stuff, right, on the Bella Grace page. I didn't get all this covered and I am, again, I'm perfectly okay with that. So I'm gonna put this to the side and let this dry, okay? Then I'm gonna show you a page. This is from a Flow magazine and Flow, while it doesn't have the nice thick pages like the Bella Grace, it does have, um, I don't know, but it, it, I do like the pages in it. They are quite, they're, they're kind of thin, but honestly, they've got, um, it works. I, I just sewed this page yesterday and um, it thickened it up quite a bit. And the reason I, I did this page, again, a lot of photos, right? A lot of print on this page. And I wanna show you, ladies, how you can just take a magazine, repurpose it, and use it for a journal. Even if it's not your Being Me journal, because um, I'm not using a magazine for my Being Me journal. But um, gosh, it's just a cheap way and also a great way to recycle your magazines for other journals that you might do. Okay, so I've got some paint here. I'm gonna actually need to go get a few more tubes of paint. I thought that I had more paint over here, but I don't. I have mostly my spray inks, which I'm okay with that too, I love them. But I kinda wanna show you how I start a page. So normally I will take some colors. I'm gonna go and get that really quick, guys. All right, I'm back. Thank you for waiting. I'm gonna put it, I think, a little bit closer to, so maybe you can see here a little bit better. All right, so I've got, just, I just grabbed a few. Um, I've got some Dina Wakely, some really pretty blue. I've got more of a teal blue. I've got some red. I've got kind of an interesting metallic blue, and then I've got an orange. So we're just gonna see where this takes us. I usually like to have a yellow, but I don't have a yellow, but this will work. So I'm gonna take, um, actually I might take, I'm gonna take I think this dark blue. It's called Lapis. It is by Dina Wakely. I'm gonna put just a little bit out there. I'm gonna take Put a little bit there, okay? And then I'm gonna take just a little bit of this orangey yellow. And just, ah, I forgot. Put that there. Okay, so you can see I've just put three dots of paint. I'm gonna grab one of my cards again. Um, I keep my cards in a little container over here. I have a lot of them. There's an old, Michael's Christmas one. Then I'm just gonna take and I'm gonna start
Ooh, I like that. Okay. So. All right. I'm going to leave some white space, too. I like to leave a little bit of white space. So you can see that I just took my card, drag it through my paint, and now I have just a base. Let's say that... <clears throat> Let's say that I don't necessarily maybe want all that paint on there. I don't want it as dark. I love to have baby wipes handy. These are just the generic baby wipes at Walmart. The nice thing about gesso, this is what I want to show you. So the nice thing about gesso, it has already, it's created a barrier between the paper and the paint. So I can take this baby wipe and I'm going to kind of, do this to my paint and I, I like this look because um, I don't know it kind of just like makes it more subdued too there's just something about it that I like kind of taking some of that paint off it adds interest to your page remember mixed media is all about adding layers and um, you do not have to be exact that's why I like mixed media we'll talk more about that in a different video this I'm just trying to show you how you can cover um, your magazine page. Okay, so I kind of like that, like how I just kind of did that. Now I'm gonna take some stencils and stencil on that. And some of my spray inks. See if these work. take some water remember that dilutions inks this is what I'm using girls it's dilutions inks inks um, spray inks and these are from Ranger they're water activated so I love using my spray bottle I went ahead I do have the Tim Holtz distress sprayer you do not have to have that you can literally go buy a dollar sprayer at the Dollar Tree but I love how little this is and I usually just hang it up on my wall I've got like a little um, a cute little rack that I hang it on and I just like the size of it so anyway I can just spray that I can even spray kind of where my stencils were and um, I'm gonna do something real quick Then I can take um, either a rag or paper towels. I usually use paper towels, but I don't have a paper towel handy right now. So I can just kind of dab if I want that paint and kind of get some of that off there, that ink. And look, it's gonna be super messy, but I love that. That's what I love to do. You'll find I love to be messy. And, you know, there you go. There's a page. That's how quick you can do a page. Um, just gonna let that dry just a little bit and it's gonna kind of show you I was gonna maybe use some purple and use some of that water okay kind of let that run maybe with some purple in there yeah I like that it just kind of adds little pop of color there okay I like that a lot all right so there you see how I took a magazine page added some gesso you can still see um, the photos but look once you've got that paint and everything else on it it's gonna cover it always remember with gesso ladies you do not have to glop it on so thick that you can't see anything underneath because look what happens when you add the paint and the sprays you don't see it okay so there's that but now I want to go and I want to show you that Bella Grace page that we actually gessoed so it's not dry yet but I'm okay with that too and that's what I wanted to show you 
to me, it doesn't have to be fully dry. Um, if you want, you can take and kind of, yeah, get some of those ridges off. But for the most part, it is pretty dry. I'm going to go ahead and add some paint. Um, maybe we'll do some different paint than we did. I got some on my thumb, so I'm just going to put that on there. I'm going to add a little bit of that cobalt blue, I think. And see what that looks like so remember we're still seeing these images right but it's okay because this paint is gonna go over those pretty darn good okay there we go okay now I'm gonna use Looking for one of my favorite stencils. This is from Dee Dee Catron. She's a mixed media artist and I got to meet her and take a class with her in Las Vegas about five years ago. And I bought this stencil from her because I, I really like it. And I want to use it. Um, the one bad thing about these spray inks is they get clogged a lot. And so this one has got kind of clogged and that's okay. I'm just gonna go for a different color then. Okay, oh, I like, I like, I like. That is awesome. Perfect. Okay, we've got that. So, as you can see, guys, look. That background is covered. I can see a little bit of the print coming through, but I'm actually going to keep that because look at that. I love that. Just a little bit is coming through. It's only going to add interest to my page. But do you see how that gesso, even though we could see underneath, now we can't. And that's just with a swipe of paint and some spray ink and stencils. And I really like this background. I'll probably add more to it, um, like I always do. But this is not really a background video. I just wanted to show you that you can use and recycle your magazines. You could probably even do this with, um, honestly, any magazine out there. Just add that gesso on there. Um, remember, the card is key. I really believe that this is going to be so much better than a paintbrush. I've always used a card. I also use that for my paint. Um, and just give it a try. Um, I, I think that you will be so happy that you do. Okay, that's going to be all for the video today. Um, join me, though. We are going to have some videos um, shortly about um, the page. The Express Yourself page is coming up. And also, later on in the month, I'm going to be teaching you how to create these mixed media stickers for yourself. These are so much fun to create, so easy to create, and I think you're really going to have a lot of fun with these. So that's going to come up later in the month. But I want to thank you guys again for being a patron. It means so much to me. This is the first time I've dipped my water in that kind of a, my, dipped my toe in the water um, with that kind of thing. And it really is a blessing to me. And I'm so grateful that you guys believe in me. And I will see you soon. I hope that this video was helpful. If you have any questions, comments, please don't hesitate to get a hold of me. Contact me on Patreon. And don't forget to join our Facebook group if you haven't. It's Being Me Art Journaling on Facebook. And hey, guys, I will see you soon. Have a fabulous day.